Hi guys, Mr. Rufflewuffles here. Last night at about 4am UK time, the achievements for Call of Duty Black Ops 3, or actually the trophies, leaked early. So the game has had its trophy list certified now. This is going to be the final list as far as we can tell. And without further ado, I'm going to jump into the zombies portion of them. In a separate video, I'll be going through the campaign ones, but because there are over 40 different trophies, I thought it would be best to compartmentalize a little bit and focus on the zombie stuff because I know a lot of you guys are mainly interested in the zombies stuff. The first one is kind of, I suppose, arguably related to the campaign side of things, but it's Silverback in black. Hack the data vault and brace yourself for Cyber's Avenging in Dead Ops Arcade 2. This is such good news in my opinion. I'm so happy that this is actually happening. Yes, some of the information that I'm reading now, literally in this achievement, this trophy, and also in the future ones has been leaked or talked about in the past, but this for me is really, really good. I'm really happy about the fact that Dead Ops Arcade 2 is going to be a thing. It's called Cyber's Avenging, very silly, and well, I can't wait to hack the data vault, which is probably what is going to contain Omnipedia, which is our sort of in-game wiki that we've been promised by Jason Blundell in the interview I did with him a couple of months ago. In my opinion, that alone is video worthy. It's called Silverback in Black, like I said. The next one is a silver trophy. That previous one was bronze. The silver one is called The Beginning of the End. In Shadows of Evil, complete all rituals. This is really exciting because we've seen on the floor in the past, I've made videos about it, these red sort of blood markings that look very much like they could be a perfect spot for a ritual to take place. I have an entire video dedicated to it, and it seems like that may well be related to the Easter egg in Shadows of Evil, because if you look at all of the Shadows of Evil zombies achievements trophies, there aren't actually any other than the beginning of the end, which are above the bronze trophy rating. The beginning of the end, like I mentioned, is silver, all the rest of them are bronze, and so generally when we have Xbox achievements, we look at those, and whichever one is 50 gamer score is, for the most part, always going to be your Easter egg. Here, we've got one trophy, which is on another tier to all of the others, and so I think it's a good shout to say, this is going to be the Easter egg achievement, the Easter egg trophy, sorry, in Shadows of Evil. Now, I want to specify that there may well be something beyond this that we don't know about. This might not be the end of the full Easter egg, but this is the point in the Easter egg at least where we unlock the trophy, the beginning of the end. Now then, those of you that are super duper attentive, like my friend Liz who pointed this out, will notice that that quote is actually a snippet from an Origins quote from Samantha. She says, this is the end of the beginning, the beginning of the end. That's one of the quotes on Origins. You can play the map and hear her say it. And the fact that this achievement, this trophy, is also called that, the beginning of the end, is perhaps a little suspicious. What are these rituals going to be for? Why are we performing them? And for whose gain? Who knows? But for now, that's the achievement, or trophy that is. So now, let's move on. From the Shadows. In Shadows of Evil, spot the Shadow Man five times in one game. The picture has the Shadow Man's hat, looks like a bowler to me from this angle, and the Roman numeral for five in the top left there as well. Now, let's just take a quick look at the wording. Spot the Shadow Man five times in one game. So, in one particular match, you just have to spot him. You don't have to necessarily fight him, or kill him, or talk to him, or eat him, or I don't even know what, summon him, you just have to spot the Shadow Man. Which is weird, because the Shadow Man presumably is going to be in the Shadows A, and wanting to stay there. But also, why would we just be spotting him? Is this going to be a sort of G-Man style scenario, where you've got this character who keeps sort of appearing, and you sight him, and then he's suddenly not there anymore, and you're left scratching your head wondering what's going on? Maybe that's the angle Treyarch are going for? Maybe they have something else completely in mind. Who knows? I'm very excited about this achievement, though. Next up is Not Out of Gobblegum. Finally, before we even read the description, we have a name for the bubblegum for those gumballs in the maps. It's called Gobblegum, and the description is, In Shadows of Evil, purchase and chew every type of gobblegum 
in your pack. So presumably we're going to have a pack of specific gobble gums that we have, I don't know, selected before the game or maybe chosen as the map's loading in or something like that. We'll have this gobble gum and then we'll, in the match itself, be able to purchase it and chew it. The reason I don't think you'll necessarily be able to edit your pack in game, because it sounds like you have a specific pack which you can put your gobble gums in, is that it would just be a bit weird for them to have a whole range of different possible effects of the gobble gum. I'm assuming that there are going to be quite a few of them, because I'm also presuming that they're going to be temporary additions to your arsenal or things like that. And if you can edit those in the match itself and get access to all of them, then Chewing every type of gobblegum in your pack is going to take an awfully long time, and your pack sort of is useless. So I think that that's what's going to be happening. We'll be choosing gobblegums before the game or loading when the game is loading, and that'll be how we actually select them and put them into our pack in order to purchase them later and then actually chew them. Sorry We're Dead is the next trophy. In Shadows of Evil, kill 10 zombies that are inside of a store in one game. I think that this is a little peculiar because it's just a store. Doesn't seem like there's much that's particularly interesting here. There are no doubt going to be a fair few stores around the map because Shadows of Evil is set in a city and in cities you're presumably going to have plenty of stores. So this I think is going to be a fairly easy achievement. Next up, Strike. In Shadows of Evil, use the rocket shield attack to kill at least 10 zombies in one burst. Pretty self-explanatory, we've seen the rocket shield in use in the trailer, and we just need to kill 10 zombies in one burst, that's all. Next up is a really, really weird one. Beat COP. That's C, capitalized, O, lowercase, and then P, capitalized again. The symbol for it, the actual achievement or trophy logo, is a little badge with a robot head on it, seemingly, and MCPD written below it. That will no doubt stand for Morgue City Police Department, like you have... That will no doubt stand for Morgue City Police Department, in the same way that you have the NYPD, which is the New York Police Department. The description is, In Shadows of Evil, summon the Civil Protector in every district in a single game. So, what's the Civil Protector? Well, I'm presuming it's the cop. It's gonna be that thing that we can see the head of, I think it's the head at least, in the badge in the logo for the achievement or trophy and we need to summon it so whether it's being summoned via those rituals or via a trap of some sort or something it's not really clear right now there are traps in shadows of evil or at least it seems like it from the trailer but we don't really know how this guy is going to be called in and we need to do it in every district of which there are a fair few because the map is pretty large in a single game the spider and the fly is the next achievement in shadows of evil kill 10 zombies ensnared by a widow's wine grenade. This is really cool, okay? We thought for so long that widow's wine was going to be a drinkable perk. That's what people had sort of latched onto as their idea of what widow's wine would be. But this is specifically talking about widow's wine grenades. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that there won't be a machine in the map where you put some money in and out you get a bottle or a something or other that changes your character or your inventory in some way. It's just that instead of it necessarily being a perk, it might instead be a grenade. I think that that, because of this description, is extremely likely, but who knows if it's going to have other effects associated with it as well. Maybe if you have the Widow's Wine perk, it will change your regular grenades into Widow's Wine grenades. That is another possibility. We really don't know yet, but for now, I think we can assume it's fairly safe to say that Widow's Wine is going to give you access to Widow's Wine grenades, which will probably ensnare the zombies, because that's how you get the achievement, in some way. A bit of spider's web. Something like that. Margua Party is next. In Shadows of Evil, kill two Marguars in a single round. The Margua is the three-headed monster thing that we've seen roaming around the maps. You have to shoot each of its heads off in order to kill it. They look pretty damn nasty, and... There are going to be more than one in a single round, seemingly, because you can kill two in a single round to get this achievement. Now, one thing I do want to say is that we also don't know how these things spawn. We've seen the spawning animation, sort of, but I'm not exactly sure what it is that sort of goes into that process to make it happen. Do they spawn randomly? I don't think so. I think that there's going to be a trigger of some kind. That would make more sense to me anyway. Finally, we've got Parasite Seeing. In Shadows of Evil, kill five parasites while riding on the train. 
We've known about the train for absolutely ages now. We've known about the parasites since the trailer. They're the little flying things that shoot gloop at you and generally look pretty damn annoying. The train itself is a monorail that goes around the map so you can get around more easily, I guess, and kill some parasites. And that's basically all of the zombies related achievements or trophies. So I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, the like button is the place for you to hang out, have some drinks and have some fun. And I'll see you next time in another Black Ops 3 zombies related video. See you later, guys. Bye bye.